Hello, this is Meng from Goodway Solar Academy. At the beginning of this video, I'd like to ask one question to you. We have completed all the installation steps and wiring work, what we should come to. The display and invert. With this local display, we can perform multiple tasks, including local configuration to have the system successfully connected to the grid, real-time monitoring on the performance of invert, and maintenance support. Let's meet the NOCO display. It is an industrial level LCD display. From its homepage, we are able to check the real time output power, operation status, today's generation, and total generation of this inverter. On the top are icons of safety code, fine, power direction, anon, LVRT, shadow scan, and PID function. Indicators. When indicator is on, off, or blinking, it indicates something about inverter. For example, when indicator fault is on, there are errors in the system. More detailed explanation about indicators can be found in the label attached on the left side of inverter. Buttons. We use these buttons in combination because there are three levels of menu and many items. The basic rules are short press enter to the next level or item and long press enter to save setting. Press Escape to return, press Up and Down buttons to move and select. Now let's learn how to do local commissioning. The DC switch was turned on and system is starting right now. Tips When the inverter is started for the first time, we have to select the safety country or region before any operation. Select the channel and then press enter. Now we can turn on AC switch. Inverter must go through self-checking before connecting to the grid. Normal, it has connected to the grid successfully and starts generating right now. Where can we change safety country after initial turning on in basic setting? Actually, there are some other basic items including language, data and time, and communication address that we can set in the basic setting. Take the second one for example. We can set it at 1830 October 2nd of 2019. Don't press enter and setting confirmed and saved. Come is to set communication address. The next one is safety country, and we can change its setting when necessary. Setting for more functions are placed in advanced settings such as LVRT and shadow scan. However, password is required for advanced setting. We can use buttons up and down to change the inputs and then press enter to confirm. We can start advanced setting right now. Let's turn on shadow scan function like this. To set for active power, we need to turn on P active first and then set the percentage and ratio. Press down, there are more items including grid type. Its default setting is star, but it has to be changed to delta if neutral wire of inverter is not connected. In addition, local display plays an important role in our regular inspection and maintenance. From the homepage, running info, and historic data pages, we are able to know a lot about inverter's operation status. Right now, it is in normal status and has produced 0.1 kWh of electricity for today. Total generation is the same. Running info are divided into AC output and DC input. From the numbers of grid voltage, current, frequency of each phase, we know that this inverter's output is normal. Beneath the line are the DC input voltage and current of MPPT1 to MPPT4. We just connected the strings of MPPT1, so there are only inputs from string 1 to string 3, with real-time data of string voltage and current. String level monitoring is in hand. 
Goodway Monitoring System SAMS has integrated this function as well. You may find more in our SAMS video. History Info provides histogram and statistics of generation. Now press enter and we can find how much electricity this inverter has produced in different months and year. Since the inverter just came online a few minutes ago, the data for the time before October of 2019 is empty. Error type and current time are recorded in Aeronog. It can display 8 logs in one page and 10 pages in total. Error message and fault warning are important to our maintenance work. There are many ways for us to get informed. A homepage, there is a warning about utility loss. A running info, we can see the voltage, current, and frequency of the grid has turned zero. However, there is still DC input. Thus, we are able to know that there is PV energy, but the grid fails. To get more details, we can now press enter to the hidden page of fault detail. From the NAST manual, we can know this inverter's device info including model name, serial number, and firmware version. To get swift recovery, we should provide the device info and warning message to our maintenance team or Goodway. In addition, when there is red fault indicator on and the green run indicator dark, it is warning us, great failure, fault here. If you like this video, please subscribe Goodway Sonar Academy. More videos come soon. See you next time.